Okay, do we have emails today? Every day, doctor. All oh right. my god, I'm so sorry. Oh. Can we stop? I didn't put on my lipstick. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> This is wonderful. We're going to start the show with this one. Hi, farmer people. How you they do? My name is Nara Belkis. I don't come back again, no? Introducing Dr. and Jackery Damages. <laughs> Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We're coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York! New York City is so great that there is a rat for every person in New York City. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know that already. I always talk about that. I have said this many times. Mm. But I have never, never seen New York rats captured the way they were captured in this new documentary. Oh, oh yes, oh, we, in New York City we make documentaries on rats. Hey, I don't know what you do in your country, but here we make documentaries. Watch. Rats are basically down in the sewers. They can swim up. A rat, when he bites you, he twists. Wow! <laughs> no, I tell you, I tell you, African rats are much smarter. In Africa, why rats bite you? They blow air on the bite. You don't get to feel it until they are done biting you. That, that, that is genius. That, that is genius. If we disappear, <laughs> the rats would take over. <laughs> now, 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 besides us, rats are the next most successful species on Earth. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. If we disappear, rats will take over the world. <laughs> now, 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 why am I saying all this? You know, no, 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 a rat did not bite me last week. No, it's not the reason. It's not. I say this because the whole Donald Trump phenomenon mm. in this 2016 US presidential election uh -huh. has been an unending wild rat infestation. Tell me about it. The, can, can you tweet that out? <laughs> that, that's what it's about. Wild rat infestation. Mm. I'm sure you watched the final debate between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's over, it's over. He tore his debate notes in anger Meaning that he's done. <laughs> now, the, what it means is that the humans of America have once again stopped the rats from taking over. Hey! <laughs> I'm just telling you. Hey. If you miss the debate, here is a clip that says it all. Watch. Social Security payroll contribution will go up, as will Donald's, assuming he can't figure out how to get out of it. Uh, but what we want to do is to replenish the Social Such a Security nasty Trust woman. Fund by making sure that... I know, I know. Wow. In a rat race, it is the nasty that is first to call another nasty. Mm. He could not help himself. Just, just when he had the chance to redeem something out of the spectacle he made himself in the last 15 months, he blew it. He said this. That at the end of the campaign, that the loser concedes to the winner, not saying that you're necessarily going to be the loser or the winner, but that the loser concedes to the winner and that the country comes together in part for the good of the country. Are you saying you're not prepared now to commit to that principle? What I'm saying is that I will tell you at the time. I'll keep you in suspense. <laughs> now, 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 that statement horrified Americans. Hey. For the first time, it became clear that Donald J. Trump is determined to turn America into a third world country. Hey. That's his plan, yeah. That's his plan. The day, the day after, as people, more people condemned him for saying that he would not accept the result of the election, he corrected himself. Watch. That I will totally accept the results of this great and historic presidential election if I win. I know. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. You know, the only problem with that statement is that we know, and Donald Trump knows, that he will not win this election. Wow. Unless he wins. <laughs> now, for Trump supporters, all is not lost. Trump has one more option. He could force the delay of the election. I mean, he could postpone it till next year. Already, already he has told his supporters that the election is on the November 28th. 
There's never been anything like this. So go and register. Make sure you get out and vote November 28th. So, so why stop in November? Why, why not? Trump can move it to the summer months, you know, when the weather will be good. And he said, um, what do they call them again? Basket of deplorables, you know, the supporters. <laughs> Aha, they will feel like leaving their seat near the fridge, you know, and go out there and vote. Hey. Yeah. Now, you think postponing the U.S. election is outrageous. Mm -hmm. Nothing about this year's U.S. election has been normal. In any case, Trump has a template he could use. He doesn't have to invent anything new. Guess where the template is from? Where? Africa. <laughs> Africa, my Africa, Africa of proud warriors. No, Joseph Kabila, mm -hmm. the president of Democratic Republic of Congo, uh -huh. just postponed the presidential election in Congo nah, to next year. Nah, yeah, to, nah, to next year, next year. He said, no, 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 not this year anymore, next year. And guess what? He got the Supreme Court of his country to sign off on it. What? Oh, there, the court said, that's good, that's good. We can do it next year. Hey. Kabila, Kabila has a good reason, too. His country needs time to update its voters' register to avoid rigging. Ah, isn't that what Trump has been talking about? Isn't that the same thing? They said there were dead people on the register. So the, the Kabila said, you know what? Move this to next year. Now, now, Trump just needs to have the guts, have the balls to announce a postponement. That's it. Hey! But <laughs> about the balls, I don't think he has. <laughs> No, 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 no. And, 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 and if there is any problem, just say he did that and there's any problem. The disturbances from losers, sorry, I mean um, opposition party. <laughs> Joseph Kabila can follow the example of the president of Burundi. Mm. You, know, you know the man? The man pulled his country out of the International Criminal Court. Wow. He said we are out. Wow. Now, by so doing, there won't be any chance that someone will try him for crime against humanity. Oh, Oh, that's the end. Hmm, thinking about that, Donald Trump, crime against humanity. <laughs> Wear them, you know? It deliquates, doesn't it? Mm. Trump, crime against humanity. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and they say that African leaders are not smart. We, they are geniuses. The world has a lot to learn from African leaders. Now, talking about smart leaders, I'm getting more impressed by the new wave of emerging African leaders. Do you know the people I'm talking about? Yes, like, like, like this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Aisha Buhari, the wife of President Mohamed Buhari, rounded up a wonderful week with a trip to Belgium. Woo! Oh, yeah, she went there to attend the African Women Conference. Woo! Did you see what she was wearing? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Some said that the cost of that thing was 2.1 million naira. Eh. Some said it's, it was a knockoff version of it, that it was much cheaper. When I, when I look at that, I only see a bright woman wearing a very colorful attire. Mm. That woman cannot be contained in a kitchen. <laughs> look at her again. There's no way you can keep that woman. No. Aha. Now, I don't know about the other room, you know. I don't know. But in a kitchen, that will not happen. Now, now, in Belgium, <laughs> Aisha got an award. Now, have you noticed that the West will give you an award? Only when you kick the balls of an old African leader. Doctor. No, I, I'm not making. Okay, look at the other. Look at this woman. Not, sir, do, don't you think it's time to step down, sir? Okay, it's okay. Sir, don't you think it's time to step down? I don't. 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 Can you say something, sir? Do you think it's time to step down? The same thing. The same thing. This is how it works. Now, anyway, this is what she said on getting the award. I wholeheartedly dedicate this award presented to me to the Nigerian men and women who have lost their lives. Hey, yeah. And those at the war front battling to restore peace. Aww. Oh dear, oh dear. She's all in. Aisha 2019. Woo! Oh yeah. She has started talking, she has started talking about military families the way uh, uh, Hillary Clinton used to. Yeah, and uh, Michelle Obama used to talk about. I won't be satisfied, nor will my husband, until every single veteran and military spouse who wants a job has one. All of you deserve nothing less. You know, they, she, she kidding, you know? See, Woo! see? This Aisha is going places. I tell you, mark your calendar. Now, of course, of course, if you start going places, like uh, um, tomato juice, enemies oh, will come after you. Oh, of course. It, it follows. Now, reacting to Aisha Buhari's BBC interview, mm -hmm. an Islamic scholar called for her immediate arrest. Hey. Hey, 
Now, 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 I, I agree with you, I agree with you, man. The only problem with this call is immediate. <laughs> a reasonable man will let her finish cooking the food that is no, on the stove no, no, before no, arresting no, her. No, how, why can't you? Yeah, but, uh -uh. but again, but again, <laughs> all men are not reasonable. <laughs> if you doubt me, if you doubt, see how the EFCC rearrested Femi Fanny Kayode. Wow. wow. A reasonable EFCC will have let him get home from a court appearance before you arrest him again. Hey. Eh? You understand what I mean? Wow. Let, him, let him go home, drink water, put the cup down, and then you arrest him. By the way, do we still have a president? Do of we? Course. Oh, 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 yeah, Mohammed Buhari. I forgot. <laughs> I, I, I forgot. I forgot. As as Aisha saga continues, you know, it may be necessary for Buhari to gain new powers. Eh? You know, he needs it if he won't be forgotten. Hmm. Now you know that <laughs> I like Buhari and I want him to succeed. Of course. Unlike this woman. <laughs> 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 now because I like Buhari, I searched for the kind of power that Buhari will need to suppress the revolt that I see coming. Mm. I found one, watch. And it's and it's the the that don't want you to, 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 to enjoy your marriage to with to your ass, to to I Wow. <laughs> yeah, my friends, this is the power that Buhari needs. Imagine if he could do this to all the women Imagine. who wish to escape from the kitchen. He would hey. just psh, get back. Get back to the kitchen. Get back. <laughs> seriously, Doctor. seriously. Uh, when Aisha comes back home, you know that all eyes will be on her. Of course. When she comes out with the president, people will watch for signs. Is she, does she go to the kitchen? Have they gone to the other room? You know, people will watch. People will talk. Now, if I were Buhari, I would send her name, Aisha's name, to the Senate for confirmation hmm. as a member of my kitchen cabinet. <laughs> Did you get that? Did you get that? Tweet it out. That's that's the solution to all these problems. Solution: puts her in the kitchen cabinet. Hey. <laughs> now, talking about things that are messed up, you know, the last has not been heard on this uh, DSS raid of homes of judges. We keep hearing stories. One judge, Justice Okoro, accused the Minister of Transportation and Aviation. Your friend, uh, Mr. Ruti <laughs> Miyamoichi. The man accused Ruti Miyamoichi of trying to bribe him. Hey, yeah. mm. I know, I know. Never mind that this man did not tell us anything until after the raid. <laughs> now, 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 Mr. George, Mr. George, see, see, I told you to videotape Amoichi giving you a bribe. But you refuse. See your life now. See your life. Who can help you? Now, by the way, why didn't the DSS videotape these judges collecting bribe? rather than this, their quote-unquote uh, sting oh, oppression that they implemented. Mm. Wouldn't that have made it easier of for which show us the video? They were collecting bribes. We just tell you to take them, put them away. Mm. Now, another judge, Justice E. Yang, wrote the Nigerian Judicial Council. Mm -hmm. The shameless man, sorry, what, who's, what's wrong with me today? <laughs> the learned man, I mean, I wanted to say learned man. The learned man said that the money recovered in his house was duly earned. <laughs> this is uh, this <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> didn't that notorious uh, armed robber, you know that one in the uh, 80s? Um, I know, I know. There was his name again, Anini, yeah. Uh, didn't, he say, didn't he say the same thing? <laughs> Anini said the same thing about his money. Yes. Now, this judge, Inyang, uh, said that he could not tell his customers to deposit the money in the bank, in his bank account. What? Because his customers were ghosts. They were asking him, why is the money in your house? He said he could not tell his customers to deposit the money in his bank account because the customers were ghost customers. Wow. He, you know, no, no, thinking about it, yes. <laughs> you know, ghost customers are afraid of cameras that are in the bank. Mm. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Don't you think so? Yes, that, makes, that makes sense, you know? Nice judge. <laughs> learned man, he's learned. Now, another judge, arrested judge, said he said he made his money from rice business. What? Rice. I said, damn, 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 damn. <laughs> and I've been investing in snail business. <laughs> you know, I didn't know. Why? Why didn't you tell me? I, I tried the, uh, you know, General Buratai. He said, uh. snake business. He failed. Ah. I said, let me go to dump me. I said, let me go to snail. Dump me. I should have known that Nigerians, they eat too much rice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, and this one, Justice Sylvester Nguta. He alleged that the money found in his house mm -hmm. was planted. Hey. 
Oh yeah, no, no, he, he, no, no, he urged Nigerians interested in getting rich like him to till the ground of their compound and water it and wait. He assured us that in no time, someone will come and plant some money there. Bad sons. Bad sons. <laughs> Meanwhile, a federal high court judge, Rita Ophelia Ajumogobie, wanted by the EFCC, was caught pretending to be hospitalized in Lagos. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, she told the EFCC that she was in the intensive care unit of an Ikoi hospital. Eh? This is by Sahara Reporters, a wonderful report. Now, when EFCC operatives got to the hospital, they saw the secretary entering the judge's name in their computer. As for the woman, she was somewhere doing her hair. <laughs> I know, I know. Isn't that wonderful? They do anything to escape justice. Yes. And these are judges. Hmm. Terrible. Now, in what? corruption news, EFCC's chairman, Magu, you know him? That's your friend now, Magu. Uh -huh. He said now that the EFCC wants to keep a percentage of recovered loots. Hmm. They want to keep some part of the money. I'm for this, I'm for this. It will inspire the EFCC to not only arrest wives and kids of suspects, but also babies in the belly of their mothers. Because they will get part of the money now if they arrest the baby in the belly. You know, they, seriously, I think the first place for the EFCC to begin is to find their former chairman. You know the man, Ibrahim uh, Lam, Lam, uh, Lamode. Yeah, Lamode. Yeah, yeah. To find him and recover that two trillion that he allegedly recovered but failed to remit to the government. Yeah. Oh, you remember the guy? By, by the way, by the way, where is that guy now? Where is, where is the guy? I don't know. Is he still at that um, um, Institute of uh, Policy and Strategic Studies? I don't know. And what, what do they teach them there? How to steal money and live without living interests? <laughs> How to steal money without living interests? Is that what they teach them? <laughs> now, what for Nigeria? Now, what for Nigeria? You know, talking about Wawawa, the former defense minister and the future governor of Lagos State, Mr. Obanikoro, you know him? <laughs> last week, last week, he left, he left U.S. and returned to Nigeria. He said, he said, this America self, I'm out. <laughs> it was a bold move on his part. Obanikoro said that he was tired of living a life of an ordinary man in America. What? I guess nobody was calling him a guy in America. <laughs> nobody was shining his shoes in the morning or washing his car. He said, no, no, I'd rather go back to Nigeria. So he arrived in Nigeria and reported to the EFCC, even before the EFCC people brought out a plier. <laughs> Obanikoro started to sing. He started singing, wanna be starting something, you got to be starting something. You wanna be starting something, you got to be starting something, start in the rhythm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he started singing. Now, the first hit Obanikoro dropped was this one. And he says, I gave fire share. 5.37 million dollars in cash. Wow. Oh, that's the first hit. I tell you, I tell you, these people are not even good criminals. Small thing, they start singing. Hmm. Whatever happened to honor among thieves? Tell me about it. Yeah, you should, you should have guts hmm. if you want to steal. Now, <laughs> do you know what this means with Obanikoro singing? Someone that we all love is going to leave Ekiti and Nigeria via the same border, hey, yeah. dressed as a mad woman. Before his time is over, don't even wait for his time to be over. He's going to escape. <laughs> now, as expected, Ayo Fayoshe fired back. He said that they want to get him at all costs. Mm. And he urged them to face governance. Mm. <laughs> Listen to this. He urged them to face governance. Mm. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. First of all, who are the dead? Whatever happened to Fayoshe, the warrior, who is not afraid of calling names of people? Anyway, Fayoshe added something that the media missed. He said, let them face governance the way I face governance. <laughs> Benny, <laughs> Benny, you know, Benny. <laughs> if he is, he's facing governance when he's uh, arresting cows. Nonsense. This is a segment we call Secrets of Picture. It's based on the premise that a picture is worth more than a thousand. Why? 
Now, the picture you're looking at uh, pictures from the coronation of the Oba of Benin. I don't want to ruin these beautiful pictures by opening my ugly mouth. Hey. Did you see the men in those pictures? Do they look like men who ate noodles? Of course not. No, I tell you, Africa got games. It's just that the Europeans came and told us that our game is bad. And we dropped it and followed the European soccer. Uh. If this were to be the coronation of the King of England, uh -huh. CNN would have been there for weeks. Live and direct. Nonsense. Now, the next picture you're looking at is that of Buhari dancing with, <laughs> I will call it a female. <laughs> <laughs> a woman in India. Look at, look at, look at, look at that. Look at that move by Buhari. You know, isn't that wonderful? The question I'm, <laughs> did they go to the other room <laughs> after this? Uh, no, you have to, uh, when you see these things, you have to ask those kind of questions. Hmm. You know, when Buhari used to boogie, hey. now he looks, <laughs> now, now boogie, now he looks hey, like boogie. he doesn't, he doesn't touch women. Yeah. Go, go. But then he used to, why can't we have that Buhari as president? Yeah. Eh? Hey. Aisha. Aisha, what did you do to this our man? He used to boogie, you know? He used to what did you do to our man? He will get people's vote. I know somebody here who liked that picture so much. Boogie. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Can't you see? Anyway, these are the stories making headline news across Nigeria this week. Kaduna to spend. 2.55 billion naira on CCTV and drones. Do you guys, did you hear that? Ah. They are buying drones and, Oof. yeah, closed cool circuit TV. Now, what? now, now, the drone, their first assignment is to find El Rufai's uh, assets. Really? You know, because he declared the assets, but we can't find it. We, really? The drones are now going to go and find the forms. <laughs> Nonsense. 2.255 billion. That is a lot. That's a lot of money. What are they looking for? Anyway, African leaders steal $500 billion every year, says the uh, German parliament. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. In a closed-door session, they mapped out how to collect more of that loot. They said that this money is not coming to us. Why is it only going to Dubai and all this? Stuff? They said they want some of this, this money because they are tired of this small thing change that patient Jonathan and the IBB bring whenever they come for medical treatment. They say, give, show us how to get some of this $50 billion every year, African leaders. Can you imagine that? Terrible, yeah. Saraki proposes eight-point plan for successful anti-corruption war. Hey. Saraki of all people, you know? Not, 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 not to be left out, Lucifer proposes 12-step program to make it to heaven. <laughs> when, when, when Lucifer had that Saraki did, he said, you know what, I am, I'm coming up with my own 12-step program you need to get to heaven. Uh -uh. <laughs> now, I'm a Muslim, but I love Jesus, says Emi of, Emi of uh, Kano, uh, Sanusi. Isn't that one? The man is a genius. The man is a genius. This is the only example where anything before but. It's not bullshit. Huh. Did you get that? <laughs> in every other situation, anything before but is bullshit. But this one, this is the only example. Though. The man is a genius. Chicken out. Nigerian man who has 97 wives, he said, God gives me power to satisfy them sexually. Uh, no, no, hey, no. He, he, ha he has 97 wives. And he, oh. he announced that it's God that, that gives him power to satisfy them. I said, no, my man. The first thing you should announce is that God gave you the brain to remember their names. Yes. How do you remember their names? Oh, no. 97 wives. Um, Tomo to Joss. Hmm? Yes. Are you going to be the 98 one? <laughs> In what world? <laughs> <laughs> my husband doesn't allow me to cook. Says Funke Ade Akin Akindela Bello. Do, do you know her? Jennifer. Jennifer. Is that? Oh, Jennifer. Oh. Jennifer. No, no, listen, listen. Uh, Funke, Funke. She, she thinks that we don't know what happened the last time she wanted to cook in the kitchen. You, the husband screamed, Fire! After that, her husband said, No, 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 no. Thank you very much. Um, well, I'm okay. I will buy the food. No, don't worry. I will. I will we, we deliver. We take. No, thank you. Thank you very much. Jennifer, thank you. Don't be in the kitchen. Don't go near the kitchen. In the other room, stay there. 
I want you in the other room. The food will come. Just go to the other room, prepare yourself, and I'll come. All right. Growing up in Kenya, my sister and I were very close. But like any sisters, we fought a lot. She always got new clothes, and I always got hand-me-downs. Now, she's putting her children through school in Kenya. We still fight sometimes, especially when I send money for the kids. I tell her, buy some clothes for the younger one, and we both laugh. With nearly 500,000 locations, our app and online, this is moving money for better. <laughs> It's time for your email. It's time for your email. Okay, so what to just say? I'm happy that you're back in your uniform. People were writing me. They were talking. They were complaining. Yeah, yeah, they were compl yeah, they yeah, said yeah, that yeah. you were growing wings. That I should <laughs> clip the wings. I said yeah, I can't see any awesome. wings. I can't see wings unless they mean you don't the see other the thing. Wings. <laughs> <laughs> unless they mean the other thing. <laughs> what what other thing? No, no, no. no. Uh, you, you don't need clip out for that one. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's 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 go to the emails, please. Okay, our first email is from Cliff Odoom. Oh, writes, Cliff. Oh, that's mm -hmm. my friend, yeah. Good evening, Dr. Damages. My name is Cliff Odoom. I am 17 years old, wow. and I'm writing you from Germany. Mm. I wish I can say hello in Germany. Yeah. Oh, wait. Matter of yeah. fact, guten Tag. <laughs> <laughs> that's all Chinese. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. <laughs> yeah. I used, to I, I used to live in Dusseldorf. Eh? I've, I've been there, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm learning. Yeah. Hey! Okay, go ahead. As we behold the show. Yeah. Anyway, he said, I know that normally your job is to inform us about what is happening in Nigeria. We try. Oh, what Buhari did one go right again. Uh -huh. But, doctor, mm. did you see the reaction of Chancellor Dr. Angela Merkel, mm. president of West Germany? <laughs> when Buhari said that his wife belongs in the kitchen, oh. Chai! Yeah, I know. She laughed. She really just smiled and laughed. I know. This woman is too diplomatic, <laughs> but she's great. Wow. Congrats for 250th 50. episode. Oh, and thank you. And to my people laughing behind the camera. <laughs> God save Nigeria. Thank you so much. Thank you, my friend. Uh, Cliff, you know, you're wonderful. Now, look at it. Look at it the other way. Hmm. At least the chancellor laughed. The last time she laughed was when Putin scared her with his dog. <laughs> So, so Buhari, Buhari did something wonderful. <laughs> now, imagine, imagine what she will say to Mr. Mikhail uh, the night, uh, the, during the night, when they go to the other room. <laughs> Doctor! No, no, no. Wait, after, the, after ah. meeting Buhari, when they go to the, the other room, ah. you know, she will say to the Mr. Mikhail, say, my, my, you know, I met this man, and the man said that the wife... <laughs> <laughs> Next! Okay, our second email is from Ugo Steve. Ugo Steve. In the UK. Ah, that's, that's our friend that's, now. Mm -hmm, yeah, when exactly. I used to live in Greenwich, you know, yeah. I used to live in Greenwich. Yeah. 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 Where yeah. have you yeah. not near, near lived? Woolwich. I've, I've yeah. moved around, you know. Hey. But I'm Please home. This, I'm home in the greatest city in the world. Yeah. Okay, New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what, what does he want now? Okay, he writes. Yes. Hello, Dr. Damages. Mm -hmm, I'm mind. writing on behalf of the Nigerian youth, mm -hmm. whom our president in waiting mm. charged to take over our country. Okay. Imagine that we were in a similar strategizing on how to make Obi our next president. Peter Obi. Uh, okay. Uh, exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. Our next president uh -huh. and take over our country. Yes. When we saw our new episode 249, uh -huh. castigating our new president, Peter mm -hmm. Obi. Uh -uh. What is Right it? now, we are confused. Hey, hello. But come on, what's wrong with us, Seth? Ever since you returned from Nigeria, yes. your life has never remained the same. What? Why are you talking ill of the only financially disciplined leader we've had in recent time? Uh, did I do anything wrong? Those, uh, apparently you did. Those allegations you raise about money and the bodies on Ensuiva are unfounded. What? Doctor, you need to be diagnosed. Hey! How dare you? Uh -huh. Since you visited Nigeria, all you are exploring are cream cron cron cron. What? Even your mathematical member uh -uh. was also affected. How can you minus the pledge senators 300,000 naras to IDPs mm. and have a balance of 9.6 million? Doctor, did you shake hands with Ade soon <laughs> when you visited? <laughs> you need to visit John Hopkins Hospital for oh, proper diagnosis. That's my arm. Um, anyway, <laughs> my regards to TJ Baby. I know, that's why we are reading And this. the other studio noisemakers. <laughs> 
<laughs> Tell them we enjoy their noise. Uh. And next week, let me go see my baby in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ugo, 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 thank you so much. Bad. Thank you so much for your mail. You know, you are a genius. For hey. noticing that something changed since I came back from Nigeria. Hmm. Now, what changed was that I discovered that the, that snail business, the snail farm, mm. that I have been investing money in, neither had snails nor snake. <laughs> I wish I had gone into snake farming, you know? <sighs> I wish. It, it affected my brain. Mm. That's why. Thank you very much. Next. You know they say the, the, the first step to recovery is it's, admitting you're wrong. Yeah. yeah so yeah. you've mm -hmm. admitted that yeah. it affected your I'm, membrane. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> grif griffing now. I'm griffing. Okay, Next. our third email is from Suleiman Yanusta ah. in Alexandria, oh, Egypt. I know him, that's, that's my friend. Yes, yes, yes. And, yes. and he's a doctor, he's a doctor, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember him. He writes, uh -huh. Dear doctor, yeah. greetings from Alexandria, Egypt. Salam alaikum. You, Tomato oh, Joss, yeah. my second name is Yanusa. Is Ya Yunusa? Hey. <laughs> I mean, I don't you, get it. you butcher their names. Now they are coming back on you. Mm. Mm. Yunusa. Uh, oh, pronounce that's... it well. Yeah. Yunusa. Like an African. Okay, yes. Okay, let mm. me go back. Greetings from Alexandria. <laughs> you tomato George. My second name is not Yanusa. It's Yunusa. Good job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Professor Damages. Yes, ma'am. The one and only studies in general that's, of that's... the United States of Nigeria. That's Ua. me. <laughs> Chief Damaging Director of Ooh. PDB General Hospital. My head Ua. is, my head is growing. Chief Managing Director of Ogogo Drinking uh, Hospital. No, 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 no. This is As I'm funny. about to round up from medical school, I, I also noticed that for the past five years, wow. I never missed a single episode of your show. Wow. Wow. Kudos to you and your team. This you guys are guy. exemplary. Wow. Keep up the good work. My goodness. I'm therefore writing to request for my BSc certificate <laughs> from your show. So I can open my hospital and you know, two, okay. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. No, I support you that. Know. I'll give you some equipment. Doctor, free. Mm -hmm. I have to confess that your show is so contagious. Oh. Unlike that yeah, yeah, serious girl of keeping it real, Ariola. <laughs> Ariola. <laughs> the way she talk, oh my gosh. Ooh. It's just like waterfall. You should diagnose her. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Tomato just and... TC yeah. belong to my newly polished room. Take them. Where does Mama Udoka belong to? Ah, <laughs> this man, this man. You see, Suleiman, you know, you just finish me and finish my people. Ah. But there's no shaking, you know. <laughs> we can take it. We know, we know you love us. All that you are doing here is just shakara. <laughs> and, and we love you back because yep. we, you have watched every episode of our show. Exactly. Just to show you that we care, we will send you a Dr. Damages T-shirt. Just, just and, and she will sign it. Uh, and, and just just, just promise us that you will send us a picture of you wearing that t-shirt. That's yeah. all. That's all. She can have that, that's it. That's, that's all the time we have for emails. Please keep sending your emails to Dr. Damages at gmail.com. And follow us on Twitter at Dr. Damages. And on Instagram. Dr. Damages. Good, good. And here is my concern for today. It's taken from 419 second hmm. of the movie, The American President. And it says. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, they say we're going to watch it. Watch. The president doesn't answer to you, Lewis. Oh, yes, he does, AJ. I'm a citizen. This is my president. And in this country, it is not only permissible to question our leaders, it's our responsibility. But you already know that, don't you, Mr. President? Wow. Hey! He said, in this country, wow. and indeed in any country, it is not only permissible to question our leaders, hmm. it is our responsibility. Sure. Until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose you. It's the weekend, I'm happy and everything. It's else. always weekend. It's always weekend. Are you trying to say we don't shoot on the weekend? What are you trying to imply? So so what's going to happen this week? Where are you going to? I saw something, a poster. Philadelphia, where are you going to? What is going on? Why can't you take me to places? I am a citizen of the world. Why, why am I stuck you in New York City? You must sign a contract. Why am I stuck in New York City? Tomorrow just is going to places. <laughs> eh? Appearing you have to on sign music the contract. Video. What happened to me? <laughs> Uh, do you Doctor. know? Yes, you need to start opening your yankini. Who's that useless boy? Let me go get that Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please, I'm begging you. Can you go and watch more? They, they asked me to do this, otherwise, there won't be, you know, things are hard. 
watch watch more I, in fact there's some way i'm cooking a goose subscribe also subscribe to the sahara youtube account what is the name of the account again anyway subscribe whatever they say subscribe click on it please <laughs> for me for me nice thank you